Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Did, was you around when, because Kay Breezy was on here, uh-huh. and she alluded to the fact that uh, Mo3 called her and signed her. Wow. At the time, Mo3 was the hottest rapper at the time. Yeah, yeah. I sent it to him. As soon as I sent it to him, he DM'd me. He was like, hey, I want to sign you. I'm like, what? And he was like, I want to sign you. So he took me under his wing for about two years. Uh, I went my separate ways from him and his camp because kind of how they was doing business. Mm -hmm. I ain't like how they did it. But you know, I I, I got my, I got the game I needed and I just moved along. But I got some crazy records with him. Um, I actually, we did drop one record that was on his album. It was called Gangsta Love 2. The song was called Drunk Love or Drunk Drunk Sex. It was called Drunk Sex. It was good. Did you like Um, it? Yeah, it was cool. It was like one of my first times first in the time, studio yeah. with him, and especially learning like this singing shit, like with auto tune and, my, and my melody. Yeah, he taught me a lot of that. I learned a lot. Of, I picked up a lot of that from him. Wow. Um, so, how would you describe Mo Three? I never got to meet him. Um, like him as a person or an artist? Yeah, him, him as him as a, a working both. with him. Both. Okay. I, you saying both? Both. both. Okay. Yeah. Um, as I'm, a person, like he just a regular dude. Yeah. Um, but as an artist, is more what I was into. Ooh. Okay. Like as far as his work ethic and how he how he how he influenced you. He had a great work ethic. Um, I would watch him go in the studio. At this time, I was writing. Me, I'm a writer. I I don't know. I like writing stuff down too because it's kind of therapeutic in a sense. But um, he wasn't really no writer. He'll hear a beat and just go in there and just say this hard yeah. shit without nothing. Wow. He ain't do no drugs. He ain't do no alcohol. Wow. Um, real sweet. Yeah. Um, funny guy. Yeah. Uh, just a hard worker Like Man. about his business A lot of people Try to paint a bad picture About him But really He just like everybody else Yeah If somebody want This Then that's what it, They gonna get, get. You but know what I'm saying just like, Were you managing Mo3 at the time I was Mo3 only manager Okay so you Did you call K Breezy or how, Did you play part in that uh, Three called me And showed me K Breezy uh, A video of her on Twitter Okay And you know uh, Yeah we had called K Breezy What did you think about her I like Kay Breezy, and then when the shit that happened in Fort Worth, uh, they, she neglected Mo3. Oh, what, that, really? She never talked to Kyle Mo3 ever again for two years. And then she did the, the Six Pick song with Freddie and the girls in the video. And then she took a picture with, uh, with Freddie and said, my favorite tra- trapper. And uh, 3 was like, man, he, that kind of, I mean, that kind of, that kind of hurt 3. So that was around, yeah, the, that was yeah, around the same time yeah. that everything yeah, was going down. Yeah, then she, then she put, made a post on Another post on Facebook that three was aware about, and you know he was like it kind of hurt him. So then she just came out the blue at the Dun Dun the Seven, like where my chain at? You know she went off on me and Sean Cotton. Really? And three, you know. Wow. So could y'all ever work together again? It's done. Couldn't work with her no more. Yeah, I already see somebody that they uh yeah. I, you could tell by somebody. Uh, yeah, but yeah, brain, see, people can work. change though, man. I don't want to. You work can't put it. people in a yeah. box to where yeah. they can't get out that box, man. No, nah, you already just see it though. You know, you know, you already see per- people personality. This not this is some rap shit. So you allow some some rap shit get in your head like that or things like that. When we ain't did nothing but help her, I was paying. I was paying for studio time at my pocket. And you know, three was giving her some studio time and giving her game. And you know, when it's time for shows, come on, Cabrera. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when three did have a show, and it, we was throwing it ourselves, you know, I put his artists on there and pay them. Wow. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when they get mad, when they get the, y'all ain't never did nothing for me, and this and that, and this and that. Like, wow. all she had to do was stay down. If she would have stayed down from the time, from the time she met us to now, she'll be famous right now. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.